Hi guys, welcome to our Dapper video. I'm Angie. And I'm Georgie, if you can't remember us because it's just been so long. We're going to have so much fun today doing all the things that we do at Jaffa. Yeah, so we'll have some fun activities, we'll have a talk, and hopefully have some afternoon tea at home with you to um, eat while you're watching along. Um, I'm just going to hand over to Georgie, he's going to pray for the afternoon. Okay, please pray with me. Dear God, thank you so much for Jaffa and that we can still have all this fun, um, even though we're not at church and we're at our own homes. Um, please help us to have a really great afternoon um, and help us to love and serve you every day. Amen. Amen. Now we have a little video um, to remind you what Jaff is all about, just in case you forgot it. Party. What on earth do you get when you combine an American baseball cap with a very British bag of tea? The answer is an ideal minute to win it game. In this challenge the contestant must swing their head in an attempt to land two tea bags attached to either side of a hat onto the bill. Both tea bags must rest on the bill in order to win. Failure to complete this task in 60 seconds may result in elimination. Tricky, Andy, but, but I reckon we can do it. So pretty much if you're at home, all you need is a cap, some tea bags, and some sticky tape to tape the tea bags to the hat. So you want to try and get your tea bags on top of your hat in one minute. But you can't use your fingers, you just have to use your body movements. All right, shall we give it a go, Andy? Yeah. All right. Ready. Abby's got a bit of a DIY talk for us this week. So enjoy. Hey 
Hey Jaffa, um, welcome back to another week of having Jaffa at home. I'm really excited because I'm going to quickly talk to you guys about how the Bible is God's big map. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I use Google Maps all the time. I think that Google Maps is great because it helps us to know where we are, gives us a little location. It helps us to know where we're going, if we're going somewhere, and give you directions, if you're walking or driving or going on a bike. Um, it also helps us to know what to do, give us little suggestions. It helps you know where a petrol station is. And it also helps us to understand the whole world. We understand what the world is like from looking at a map. And, and just like how a map guides us and tells us what to do and where to go, the Bible is the same. It is God's big map. It tells us where we are right now and who we are. It tells us where we are going and for God's people how to trust in Jesus and how they're going to heaven and it helps us to tell us what to do and how to live for God and to trust in Jesus. It also helps us to know more about God. It paints a picture of who God is. It describes God and what he's like. It helps us if we're going in the wrong direction. It redirects us. It tells us when we're doing things that are wrong and how we can turn back and follow God. But sometimes we might forget that we need maps to get places and we might try and get there on our own, but we know that we need the Bible to know God because the Bible is God's map. Well, sorry guys, I didn't realize what the time was. I've got to drive to church quickly, but I can use my map to get there. Impressed again. Starting route to St. Thomas Anglican Church. Head west on Sydney Road. I just got back from my drive. Thankfully, my maps helped me do that and I knew where I was going. Now that we're back, we're going to spend some time reading the Bible together. Now, reading the Bible together is something that I love doing at Jaffa. It's one of my favourite parts of the afternoon. But while we're stuck at home at the moment and we don't have our normal Jaffa, I'm going to go through how we can be reading the Bible by ourselves and spending that time with God. Now, if you don't have a Bible of your own, that is okay because today we actually have a video of the passage which we filmed when we did Jaffa TV a few years ago. So it's Mark chapter 4. So let's have a look at this video. That day when evening came, he, Jesus, said to his disciples, let us go over the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. <laughs> That was really cool how we could watch that passage from a few years ago that we filmed and it was really cool how we could see it acted out and I'm really thankful that we can do that all together and you can also read the Bible at home. So there are a few things I just want to highlight for us quickly about reading the Bible that will help us to, when we are reading the Bible to know how to read it and to understand what God's saying. So first thing we need to remember is that the Bible is written by God. In your Bible, in the first few pages or so, there is a contents page where it shows that there are 66 different books that make up the Bible. And in the book of 1 Timothy, it tells us the whole Bible is God-breathed. He's the author of the Bible and he used different people to write down these stories that tells us how God rescues his people. The second thing I want you guys to know about the Bible is that the Bible is true. Now, a map wouldn't be very helpful if it wasn't true. It would tell you the wrong places to go. You wouldn't know how to get there. You'd get lost. It wouldn't be helpful at all. But we know that the Bible, God's map, is true. And that there is historical evidence and experts who can back it up. And they, they say it's reliable. Jesus really did calm the storm. And that we know that that's true from today's passage. Now, the third thing for us to know today about the Bible is that the Bible teaches us about the most important things in life. Just like how that map I was using before when I was driving, it showed me where I was going. I knew where I was right now and I knew where I was coming from when I was driving to church. 
Um, the Bible tells us more about God. Now, that passage we watched before, um, when we saw it acted out, that showed us that God was in complete control, even in that crazy storm. Jesus had complete control over the wind and the waves and the water, even in the craziest of storms. But in that passage as well, we also can take away that we don't want to be like the disciples and how they acted towards um, Jesus. They, they didn't trust Jesus, and we shouldn't be copying what they're doing. We can trust Jesus and that he has complete control and the whole world can obey him. Now, I hope you guys um, feel like you can read the Bibles for yourself now. And I want you guys to think through these things that we've learned about the Bible as you do read it. And I want you guys to remember that God wants to speak to you and show you how to live. Next week, you'll get your um, third edition of the Jaffa Journal, which we've really had fun creating. And there's going to be a little section in there of Daniel, the book of, from the book of Daniel. And I want you guys to try read that for yourself and to be thinking about these things as you read it. Um, and we're going to send your parents a digital copy so that they can print it off and you can have a look and have a look at the questions. We'll see you next time. Wow. Thanks, Abby. That was really great. I love listening to that. Unfortunately, Jaffa Kids, that's all we have time for today. Yeah. Really sad. But you guys can get excited because next week another Jaffa Journal is being delivered to your houses, which is so exciting and we know how much you love them. And the week after that, we have a Zoom call, which we can see your lovely faces and hear your happy, smiling voices. So make sure your parents know about that and Liv will be sending out emails, so keep an eye on that. And now, just to finish up, we have a song you can listen to to remember God and remember He's in control even when everything seems so out of control. <laughs> we, we miss you guys! Bye! From the sky above to the deepest sea, God is everywhere and you're never too small to be loved by God. You'll never be on His care. If you stub your toe when you get out of bed And you slip in the shower and you knock your head If you miss your brekkie and your bike tires flat If the dog eats your lunch and you step on the cat Remember the Lord, oh Remember that He is in control Remember the Lord, oh He's watching His children, He cares, oh Remember the Lord, oh, oh. If you get to school about a half hour late and the principal meets you at the gate, if you can't remember one plus two and you're busted for something that you didn't do, remember the Lord, oh. Remember that He is in control. Remember the Lord. Oh, he's watching his children, he cares, oh, remember the Lord, oh, oh. If your dad is crusty and your mum's in a flap, and you spill the custard in your sister's lap, if you're sent to bed and you don't know why, and you can't get to sleep, and you just want to cry, <laughs> Remember the Lord, oh, remember that He is in control. Remember the Lord, oh, He's watching His children, He cares, oh, remember the Lord, oh, oh. <laughs> You're hitting the skids and you're up the creek If you're down and out and things look bleak If you're in the pits and you're out for a duck If you're long in the tooth and short of a buck Remember the Lord, oh Remember that He is in control Remember the Lord, oh He's watching His children He cares, oh Remember the Lord, oh, oh.